Converse weapon was originally launched in 1986. It was a shoe of choice for professional athletes and amateurs alike. It was only available for about two years, but in that short time, it had a tremendous impact, not only on the sneaker industry, but the culture itself. You have a 100-year-old brand with an embarrassment of riches and a deep archive. It's a great position for Converse to be in. And as we were making the decision to re-release the shoe, ironically, Hiroshi Fujiwara, arguably the godfather of streetwear and his Fragment Design Company, came to us because they had an affinity, a passion for the shoe. And he said, I would like to work on it. A happy marriage was made, and he lent his signature touch and details to our OG design so that we can bring it back in a way that makes it relevant to contemporize it, to make it resonate with the kids who might not have even been born in 86. So when you think about not only the white, royal, black color combination, how it's positioned on the shoe with the black toe and our Converse icon popping out on the lateral side, and also the very subtle detail of a beautifully debossed and some really supple leather, the lightning bolts of the fragment design, that entire combination helps make this iconic shoe and model from Converse even more iconic with this known and iconic co color combination with a titan in the industry. The people asked, and we gave them what they wanted, and we're glad we were able to do it, and it sold out. There's so much love for this shoe and getting it right. Big shout out to the team, because none of this would have happened without anybody else. I'm glad and I'm lucky to get to represent on behalf of the team. But man, there's an army of people who put their blood, sweat, and tears into this.